Okay. Now, this is a tutorial on how to file your free file tax thing for your stimulus tax thing. You go to free file both forms on one letter, on one word, dot com slash number sign slash FD slash E C O N O M I C I M P A C T payment. Okay? You can't find that at the IRS because the coronavirus. Go down and I'll tell you how to fill out for your people. First thing. Now, this is if you have not filed taxes or don't file taxes. Or if you have someone who is on disability or on Social Security and you're not. Now, if you have Social Security or disability or you file taxes, you don't need to do a thing. This is for us other people who don't who don't have that stuff. And the link will be in the description plus the IRS thing to get to the link in case you can't find it. Okay, you go there, you create, you hit get started. It looks like this. Can you see it? Looks like that. I don't have a share screen thing. But anyway, you hit get started. And then you go ahead and create your account. You give them your email address. You confirm it. You give them your phone number. And you use your ID and your password and confirm your password, okay? And then once you do this, now you need to do this on a tablet or a computer. Because when you get to the last part where you have to fill out those numbers, they'll give you that special code they give. You have to read, which is annoying. You'll need a bigger screen. So you can't do most of this on your phone, save it, and then you go bug someone or my tablet or computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and sign in because I've already done mine. Or sign in and continue filing, okay? Now you will not be seeing the screen from now on because it's all my stuff. Okay, and then you sign up to the screen password. Mine's remembered. Okay, your first step. If you're one adult, on this registration, select single. If there are two, select married. Why they did not they didn't have married filed separately? We do not know. So I had to select single. I'm married, but my husband's information is already there because he's on disability. My information is not there, even though I am his payee, probably. So I selected single, and then it says first name, which we'll go with Jane Doe. Okay, Jane. And then it has a spot for your middle initial, we'll use M, last name, Doe. And then next will be your social security number. This is all on the same line. So, zero, 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 zero. And then if you have someone else, you put their name on there. Same way. Their name, first name, their middle initial, their last name, and their social. And then you will give them your home address. And then if you have an apartment number, oh, this is not coming. Here we go. Apartment number. And then your town and your state and your zip. And then if you're a foreign country, you do that, which I don't have. Foreign pardons, state <coughs> town, I don't have that form post <coughs> And then you can someone can claim you as a dependent, your spouse is a dependent, you fill out that stuff. If, if someone else claimed you on their tax return, you are not eligible for payment. So, if you've been claimed, you can't do it. In other words, if your parents claimed you, or your spouse claimed you, or, you know, you just can't do it. So, you stop right there. Now, you go and fill out your dependents, which I have none. So, first and last name that shows relationship to you. Dependents, pen acceptable, which you don't have to worry about that. If you, and then if you have more dependents than what they have, they have like four dependents on here. You can add more. And then you add your bank information. Your routing number. Now, your routing number you can get from your bank's website or you can look it up. I'm typing your bank's name. And then you'll have to get your account number from either your bank 
or on my bank statement. And then it says, which you do not need this part if you don't have it. Identity protection plan if acceptable, which is taxpayer identity plan, which I don't have. The spouse's identity plan, which I don't have. Okay, and then you hit continue to next step. It's all on step one. It's all on the first page. And then you continue to the next one. Okay. Now this is your personal verification. And then you list your existing gross income, which for me is zero because I had no money to be met. And then if you have your spouse, you need to do for, if you put your spouse on the other part, then you have to do his. And then you enter your enter last year self-selected signature pen. If you do not have one, remember pen, skip this box. You don't have to worry about that if you don't have it. And then for the electronic signature, you can enter the day that you go into this, okay? Blank, blank, 2020. You know, it'll be 2020 because when you're in there. And then enter your cell phone number, okay? And then you can choose your pen, which is five digits. Make it something you can remember. And then you enter your date of birth. And if you expect, yeah. You know, and you enter your spouse's state of birth if you put that there. And then you gotta go into your purse or your belt Actually, you just gotta go where you can find your state ID or your driver's license, depending on what you got. Enter your driver's license number for you, and if your spouse is finally enter his next to it. And then enter the state and the date it was issued. And this is all you do it for both if you got both on here, okay? And then into the expiration date. I got that. And then you have to they'll send an email verification. You have to go and do that. And then you hit email up and says find emails will be sent to your email. Verifications required to submit email address is verified. Which is already saved up to there. You better verify your email address update your account. And then you update your account, and they'll send you an email. You have to go to your email, click on that, come back to this. And then you hit continue to e-file. Now this is where you need your bigger screen. Because they give you this security form thing, you know, box. And you have to type that in, and then hit submit. Which I don't need to do because I've already got the info. And then you're done. And you're filed. And you should get it whenever they feel like sending it. But that's it. Like I said, if you have filed your taxes are going to file them by whatever date, they'll have your info. If you have Social Security or Disability, they'll have your info. Now, if they do not, or you do not eligible to do any of that stuff, or you do not have that stuff, you have to do this. So, please, go do this. And you'll get your money back. Now, if you are claimed as a dependent on someone's tax form, which pretty much is what it is, the dependent part, then you do not have to do this and you will not get any money. That's mostly children and stuff that are file of dependents. <coughs> but, other than that, that's it. You're done. And then you sit back and you wait until they send it. They're supposed to be sending them out soon. This came up on Friday. I went and did mine Friday. I was beating my head against the wall because I couldn't see the um, social security number part. Because I did it on my phone. And it's best if you do a tablet or from here, at least until you get to the last part. You can do it on your phone, but... You really need a tablet or computer to do this. They didn't think about that when they filled this out to make it small enough screen for phone. Because you can't hit the freaking buttons on a phone. On the phone. So this is what you have to do. I'm hoping you can hear this because I didn't hook up my speaker part. I forgot to do my microphone. But I'll check back on it. I will put the links in the phone in the description. 
Please still do this if you can. Again, this is Amy Garrison. I do these periodical things with Social Security and stuff and disability. My... Sorry, someone's calling. I'll call them back in a minute. My family does have to deal with this stuff, so... My next one, at the soonest, or at the latest, will be... Usually... October or November, sometimes maybe December when they put the new amount. I plan doing more videos before then, but that's the latest I'll be doing videos. So thank you, and please apply, and hopefully you'll get your money. Bye.